To create a schedule to activate and deactivate a group, the first thing you have to do is click on the lock profile that you want the schedule to be active in, and then you click on Schedules. Now from this point, you have two areas. You have the time zone area, which is the when, when you want the schedule to take effect, what day of the week, what time you want the schedule to start, what time you want the schedule to stop. Then you have the schedule entry section, which is the what. Now here you will describe the uh, the schedule. If it applies to a user or group, you will uh, pick a user or group, and then you will pick the event and the time zone that this event will be effective in. So say you want your group, uh, number one, to be um, able to enter the door starting at 7 a.m. So you click uh, the down arrows and you change the time to 7 a.m. And then to quickly change the time in all of the uh, start times here, you highlight the box with the correct start time, right click on it, and you have three options and you will check uh, the option set all as current start. And that will change them all. And then you pick your stop time, say that is 4 p.m. And you do the same thing uh, to set all, right click, and set all as current stop. Now if you have a particular month or a particular day of the month that you want these to be active, you will change these as well. I'm going to leave them as all. Now I want this schedule to only be active on Monday through Friday, so I'm going to uncheck Sunday and uncheck Saturday. Now I come down to the schedule entry and I uh, describe the uh, schedule, which will be group 1 enable. Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now I come over to my user or group, and I uh, click the down arrow, and I choose the number one, because it is group one. Now for my event, I have two options in this particular schedule, either to uh, enable group or disable group. So I'm going to click enable group, because that is what I want to happen at my start time. Now I need to check um, my time zone, which would be time zone number one. That's the time zone that I want this event to occur during. So I check time zone number one. When I'm finished creating all of my schedules, I click switch to schedule view. It confirms that you want to overwrite all the previous data. You click yes, and now you see your schedule. Monday through Friday, 7 a.m., enable group one. Monday through Friday, 4 p.m., disable group 1. Now, if you are programming this schedule in between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. during one of these days, then this schedule will not take effect until the next day. So, technically, all of your users are uh, in this group are already enabled, so they will be disabled at 4 p.m. as long as you program this lock before 4 p.m. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, I hope it was informative and um, you were able to learn something about how to program the uh, Trilogy Locks. If you'd like to learn more about Alarm Lock, you can go to alarmlock.com. You can click on the Resources tab and there's a link there so you can download programming manuals. You can watch uh, recorded webinars. You can attend a live webinar. Uh, you can also sign up for my uh, training blog, my technical blog. Uh, if you sign up for it, then anytime I make a post, it will go directly to your inbox. And we'll make uh, posts about new, vi new videos, new software, uh, new products, uh, basically anything alarm lock. If there's something that you would like to learn how to do, uh, a topic on the uh, Trilogy Locks or the software, you can send me a, uh, an email at aphelps at alarmlock.com. That's A-P-H-E-L-P-S at alarmlock.com, and I'll do my best to get that video uh, out and post it on this site.